Skills Builder for Young Learners. Starters 2. By Jenny Dooley. Copyright Express Publishing. All rights reserved. Hello, this is Skills Builder for Young Learners, Starters 2, Unit 2. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What a nice photo! Where is this? That's my friend Tom's garden, Grandma. Which boy is Tom? He's the boy with the camera. He's taking a photo of a spider. So he likes taking photos. Great! Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. And there's Pat. He's standing in front of the horse. Why has he got an apple in his hand? It's for the horse. Pat loves animals. So do I. Two. I can see a girl sitting on a box. Her name's Grace. Grace is in my class at school. What's she doing there? She's looking at the flowers. She likes drawing them. Three. One boy is running. What's his name? The boy in the green shorts? Yes. His name's Sam. Running is Sam's favourite hobby. Four. That's a beautiful red bike. That's Sue's bike. Is Sue the girl in the blue dress? Yes, that's right. Five. And who is that boy? The boy with the orange ball. That's Dan. He's holding his new football. Does Dan like playing sports? Yes, he loves it. Now, listen to part one again. One. And there's Pat. He's standing in front of the horse. Why has he got an apple in his hand? It's for the horse. Pat loves animals. So do I. Two. I can see a girl sitting on a box. Her name's Grace. Grace is in my class at school. What's she doing there? She's looking at the flowers. She likes drawing them. Three. One boy is running. What's his name? The boy in the green shorts? Yes. His name's Sam. Running is Sam's favourite hobby. Four. That's a beautiful red bike. That's Sue's bike. Is Sue the girl in the blue dress? Yes, that's right. Five. And who is that boy? The boy with the orange ball. That's Dan. He's holding his new football. Does Dan like playing sports? Yes, he loves it. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. I'd like some baseball caps, please. OK. How many baseball caps would you like? 
Eighteen. Eighteen? Yes, they're from my class at school. And what is the name of your school? It's Green Tree School. Green Tree School? Is that T R E E? Yes, that's right. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Do you want grey or red baseball caps? I'd like 17 grey caps, please. 17. OK. Thank you. They're for my classmates. Two. And I'd like a red cap too, please. That's for our teacher. Oh, yes. What's your teacher's name? It's Miss Bean. That's B E A N. Is Miss Bean your sports teacher? Yes, she is. She's very nice. Three. And what is your name? It's Alice. A L I C E. Alice is a beautiful name. Thank you. Four. Which class are you in, Alice? I'm in class nine. Class nine? Yes, that's right. Five. And where is your school? It's in Sand Street. S A N D? Yes. Sand Street is next to the park. Oh, yes. I know it. Now, listen to part two again. One. Do you want grey or red baseball caps? I'd like 17 grey caps, please. 17. OK. a y Thank you. They're for my classmates. Two. And I'd like a red cap, too, please. That's for our teacher. Oh, yes. What's your teacher's name? It's Miss Bean. That's B E A N. Is Miss Bean your sports teacher? Yes, she is. She's very nice. Three. And what is your name? It's Alice. A L I C E. Alice is a beautiful name. Thank you. Four. Which class are you in, Alice? I'm in class nine. Class nine? Yes, that's right. Five. And where is your school? It's in Sand Street. S A N D? Yes. Sand Street is next to the park. Oh, yes. I know it. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now, listen and look. There is one example. Which animal is Sue drawing? What are you drawing there, Sue? It's a picture for our class. We're making a poster with animals. Oh, great! Is that a zebra or a horse? Oh, Mum, it's a giraffe. Look. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 
One. What is Tom having for lunch today? Mum, can I have some fish for lunch? Not today, Tom. You can have chicken or eggs. Which do you want? Eggs, please. Can I have some chips too? Yes, okay. Two. Which is Lucy's favourite class? Lucy, what's your favourite class in school? Well, I like music and painting. Me too. But my favourite is English. I love reading books and writing stories. Three. Which boy is Nick? Who's that boy? With the green boots. And the brown trousers? No, the boy wearing jeans. That's Nick. He's in my class, Dad. Four. Where are Mrs. Green's boys this afternoon? Where are the boys this afternoon, Mrs. Green? They're not in the garden. No, they're with their dad, Lucy. Oh, are they in the park? No, they're at the beach. They're fishing today. Five. Which picture is Eva looking at? Is this your dog, Eva? No, Mr. Bath. I've got a cat. This is a picture of my cousin's dog. Well, it's a nice dog. Yes, I like his long ears. They're funny. Now, listen to part three again. One. What is Tom having for lunch today? Mum, can I have some fish for lunch? Not today, Tom. You can have chicken or eggs. Which do you want? Eggs, please. Can I have some chips too? Yes, okay. Two. Which is Lucy's favourite class? Lucy, what's your favourite class in school? Well, I like music and painting. Me too. But my favourite is English. I love reading books and writing stories. Three. Which boy is Nick? Who's that boy? With the green boots. And the brown trousers? No, the boy wearing jeans. That's Nick. He's in my class, Dad. Four. Where are Mrs. Green's boys this afternoon? Where are the boys this afternoon, Mrs. Green? They're not in the garden. No, they're with their dad, Lucy. Oh, are they in the park? No, they're at the beach. They're fishing today. Five. Which picture is Eva looking at? Is this your dog, Eva? No, Mr. Bath. I've got a cat. This is a picture of my cousin's dog. Well, it's a nice dog. Yes, I like his long ears. They're funny. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Wow, there are so many clocks in this room. Can I colour some, Dad? OK, can you see the clock on the small table? The clock on the small table. Yes, I see it. Colour it blue. Cool. I like that colour. Can you see the blue clock on the small table? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One.
There's a clock behind the school bag. Find that one, please. Sorry, the clock behind the school bag. Yes, that's right. Oh, I can see it. Can I make it black? Okay. Two. Color the clock on the wall now, please. It's very big. Yes, it is. You can choose the color for it. Okay. I'm coloring that clock, the one on the wall, green. I like it. Three. And can you see the clock in front of the computer? Yes, I can. Great. Color that clock now, please. Okay. What color for the clock in front of the computer? Would you like to color it purple? Yes. Four. Now color the clock next to the phone. The clock next to the phone. Okay. What color? Have you got a yellow pencil? Yes, I have. Good. Color it with that pencil then. Five. Which clock can I color now? The one between the elephant and the camera. Can I make it orange? Yes. Well done. Now, listen to part four again. One. There's a clock behind the school bag. Find that one, please. Sorry, the clock behind the school bag. Yes, that's right. Oh, I can see it. Can I make it black? Okay. Two. Color the clock on the wall now, please. It's very big. Yes, it is. You can choose the color for it. Okay. I'm coloring that clock, the one on the wall, green. I like it. Three. And can you see the clock in front of the computer? Yes, I can. Great. Color that clock now, please. Okay. What color for the clock in front of the computer? Would you like to color it purple? Yes. Four. Now color the clock next to the phone. The clock next to the phone. Okay. What color? Have you got a yellow pencil? Yes, I have. Good. Color it with that pencil then. Five. Which clock can I color now? The one between the elephant and the camera. Can I make it orange? Yes. Well done. That is the end of Starters 2, Unit 2.